Hi there, I'm Darren Wheatley from Foreverland. Today we're looking at the third and final episode of our decentralized aggregator app. In the first episode, we found a HTML template on the internet using a search engine, and then changed that template to suit our needs. In the second episode, we created the JavaScript functions that'll support the importing of data from third-party sources. In this episode, we're going to find sources of information in the form of RSS feeds and bring it back into the aggregator app. We'll be building JavaScript functions to support that. Let's get to it. Just like in episode two, we need to stay on track. And the best way to do that is to create a plan. Today's plan is to update the repo, find RSS feeds, think about the JavaScript code, write the JavaScript code, push the code to GitHub, and update the Foreverland platform. Let's start. To make sure our code is updated, we just do a git pull in the command line. It's up to date. The next thing we need to do is use the browser to find an RSS feed that suits our needs. The first thing we do is use a search engine to find the tech news feeds. Let's try that. As you can see, there's quite a lot. Let's have a look at a few. You can see here the XML code that's given by the website. It's in RSS format. RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication. There are a number of items and each item indicates an article. Articles can have other information as well, such as a title, description, publish date, and GUID. Different feeds have different information. Another feed might have an image, for example. The RSS feeds I want to use are from Dev2 and from the New York Times. Let's find those. So now I've updated the repo and found the RSS feeds, we need to think about the JavaScript we need to write. To think about the JavaScript code, we should refresh ourselves with what the page looks like. On our page, we have a text area and an image area for news. For Dev2, we have just text, and for the New York Times, it provides images, so it's perfect for our example. We're going to need a function to handle the text and a function to handle the images, so keep that in mind. In general, what we want to do is get the RSS feed, extract all the data that we need, manipulate it, and then use the existing functions that we've written to push it to the screen. Let's try and map that out. To save time, I've written some code offline. I'll paste it here and then we can debug it in the browser. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'm happy to answer them. Now we've written the JavaScript code. We need to test that in the browser and I'll be showing you what's happening as we go through. If I go too fast or miss something that you want to know, please leave a comment and I'll be happy to help you. So here we are in the fetch RSS main function, and it's the main controller for everything that happens. It determines how many items are on the screen and where we get them from. We're gonna follow the image part because it's got more items to look at. You can see here the native JavaScript fetch function, which will go away and get the data for us and bring it back. I got this code from CSSTricks.com, which is a great reference tool. You should check it out. This next set of code will go through the RSS data that we've retrieved and extract all the bits that we need. So it's done that now into the rep variable. You can see here there's a number of items, 37, but we only want four. If you look at it, you can see that each of the items has the information we need and that it's different. So let's loop through that four times and then write the data to the website. 
So now we have the formatted string and the element. We just need to combine them. Watch the background to see the change. So there you have it. We have different information from Dev2 and from New York Times. We've created an aggregator app to bring both of those into the same page to suit our needs. So we've written the JavaScript code now and debugged it. It's working. If you need any help with the code or don't understand something, please comment below. Now we're going to push it to GitHub and then the Foreverland website, and then we're done. Oops, one thing I forgot to do is make it load on page load. Thanks for watching. Today we went and got RSS feeds from various websites and brought it back to our aggregator app. We made JavaScript functions to support that and then pushed all this information back to Git and then into the Foreverland hosting club. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. See you next time.